Assalamu alaikum grade ones. I hope everyone is doing well and I hope you are enjoying uh, your time with me with our online sessions. Okay, so um, welcome, welcome. This is going to be our um, next science experiment because everybody loves science experiments. They are absolutely awesome. Okay, so here I am. Um, we're going to be doing something awesome, something that I know you guys like. So I know you guys like slime, but this is not slime. We're gonna be making something a little bit different. We're gonna be making um, silly putty, but we're gonna be making it out of things that we can find in our own house. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some of the ingredients or some of the materials that I need. So I start off, I have like a plastic bowl here. Okay, I have my spoon. It's like a plastic spoon. You guys can use anything that you have. Okay, I have some dish soap. Okay, and I have what's called cornstarch. Okay, so it could be any type of cornstarch that you have at home. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine um, these ingredients to make an awesome silly putty. Okay, so you guys can follow along you guys can try it at home too and i'd love to see any pictures that you guys make also if we want to if you want to keep it white you can keep it white by not mixing anything with your cornstarch but i'm going to make it funky um silly putty and i'm going to use some uh food coloring okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by putting some cornstarch be careful with the cornstarch because if it gets everywhere it gets kind of messy okay so I opened up I'm gonna open up my package here and I'm gonna start off by just kind of pouring some cornstarch oops into my bowl okay so here we go I have some cornstarch and again you can make more of it if you want it really depends on how much you want so I'm just gonna start off by making a little bit. So what you do is you have your cornstarch, here we go, okay? And now after your cornstarch, you can add a little bit of dish soap. So here it is again, you can use any type of dish soap. I just am using whatever I have at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some in here, okay? And you can always change you can always add more cornstarch or add more dish soap depending so if it's too dry you can add more dish soap if it's too slimy and sticky you can put um you can put what's it called uh you can put a little bit more dish detergent if it's dry and if it's if it's too slimy then you can put cornstarch okay so here it is i'm going to try to ooh, looks like my I'm gonna go ahead and just open it up. Hold on a second, okay, whoops. And be very careful with it because it can get messy. Look, I got it all over my hands, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some, okay? I'm gonna put it back in and I did get it everywhere, but again, you guys can be careful, okay? So I'm gonna start by mixing my mixture okay so here we go just gonna mix 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 and remember if it's too dry which mine is looking like it's gonna be too dry I can add more dish soap oh and it smells so good okay, okay so I'm gonna just keep mixing and you can see that it is looking a little dry so I'm gonna probably add a little bit more dish soap and you can see I got it all over my hands got the food coloring okay hopefully that's enough if it's too much then that's when we can add a little bit more cornstarch but you can see oh there we go it's starting to get a little bit more slimy okay so you're gonna mix it oh there we go it's getting better once it gets hard to mix that's when you can get messy okay so it's looking like oh there we go it's getting pretty good here we go we're gonna mix 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 and once you see that it is getting hard to mix and it looks like it's a little bit 
Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my fingers into there. I'm gonna clean this off. Okay. And so here we go. Let's see. Oh yeah, see? It is a little bit too sticky, right? We don't want it to be that sticky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more cornstarch to get it at a better consistency. Okay, so here we are again. I added a little bit more and I'm just gonna mix, mix, mix to see if we can get it at a good consistency. It's looking a little better than it was just a minute ago. So it is getting harder to mix. Once you see that it's getting harder to mix, that's when you guys, I'm gonna roll up my sleeve a little bit so I don't get it everywhere. But once you do see that it's getting harder to mix, that's when you're gonna put your hands in. So here we go. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna knead it. Let's see here. And we're just gonna keep playing with it until we can get it at good consistency. So it is still feeling a little bit sticky, but let's see if we can get it to be a little bit better. Nope, it's a little bit sticky still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit more cornstarch to get it at a good consistency. Okay, so I added a little bit more cornstarch to it to make it a little bit thicker so that it's you're actually able to play with it. So now you see that it's stuck on my spoon. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take it and I'm just going to knead it in my hands until I feel like it's good. Oh, there we go, see, there we go, it's getting there. So the secret to getting good Silly Putty is that we want enough cornstarch in it and enough uh, dish soap in it so that it's not too sticky and not too dry. So here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, perfect silly putty. So you can play with it. So here we are. Miss Aisha has kneaded it all the way. So it's kind of looks like Play-Doh, but it's not because you can see that it's stretchy and slimy at the same time. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay, you can see that I have a mess here. Try to put something under whatever it is that you're doing it on, but there is my silly putty, guys. Look at that, and you can play with it. Of course, it's not gonna last too long because, uh, you know, it's just a little bit, and usually with homemade stuff like this, it usually doesn't last too long, but it's enough for you guys to really experiment with it and play with it. There you go. And you can see it just kind of drop into my hands and I can just play with it and let's see if we can stretch it out. Ooh, stretch it out. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. This is your homemade Silly Putty. And again, I'm going to repeat what materials that I had to make it. So you can see that it's solid here and you could just really play with it and let it stretch out into your hands. It's fun to play with. A good pastime. Good activity for you guys because I know how much you guys love things like this. So Miss Aisha thought it would be fun to just kind of make something like that. Okay, guys. So again, I'm just going to clean all of it up. Yeah. You see here we have a big mess. Okay. So there you go. Okay. So again, I'm going to put this here. Again, so our materials that we're going to be needing is we're going to have dish soap. You're going to have a food coloring of your choice and cornstarch, right? So it could be any type of cornstarch. It's totally okay. It doesn't really matter the brand. Uh, any cornstarch will do, okay, guys? And this will get you an awesome silly putty. By the way, when you guys are done, if you find that it's like messy everywhere, 
after making it, it's okay, just a little bit of warm water and just wiping it off will do. It'll clean it all up. But again, you can always do it with an adult or like, you know, somebody there to help you with all of the materials. But I'm having a lot of fun playing with my silly putty and I hope you guys will too. Okay, guys? So enjoy and I will see you guys inshallah in our next live lesson. Salam alaikum.